Hey everyone, welcome to Beginner's Guide. So previously, we talked about this motivation of sharing a couple of tools for the students to use so that they could put together a paper that's publishing ready format. So today we're gonna be talking about how to code mathematical equations in LaTeX. So right off the bat, we have this user interface in front of me. In the middle, we have this area for you to type in LaTeX code. On the right-hand side, it will render the PDF document. So for example, currently in this formula, you see xi underscore curly bracket ij, right? You see this chunk of syntax that actually gets rendered to look something like that on the right-hand side. And you see here it's decorated with formula number one. So on the left hand side, you see that uh, to design this object in LaTeX, you begin with an equation and then you have to end with an equation. And that's pretty much it. So uh, as a demonstration, I'm going to get rid of this uh, hollow world paragraph, uh, limp zoom. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, for example, I may say, here's my equation, control enter or command enter, you'll be able to see that this paragraph has been updated. So with that being said, this is how you make an edit of paragraph. Uh, now let me edit the equation a little bit. I'm going to rewrite this equation in a easier way. I'm going to rewrite an easier formula. For example, you can say sum, and for example, I from one to n, and then we can write out y sub i, subtract y bar. And this is kind of like the same format as mean square error in machine learning. You add a parenthesis, say square. You hit enter, and there you go. That's how you type out formula using latex. And you see this decoration formula number one here, this will actually automatically be updated. You do not have to physically adding one, two, three, four, all by yourself manually. So for example, uh, maybe this is a long paragraph and then you're like, oh, I got to add equation before that. No problem, right? That's absolutely no problem at all. If you need to add another paragraph here, totally fine, you can do that. And then you can just use the same syntax, say begin equation and equation, and then you'll be able to type in something else. So maybe here I say gamma equal to summation i, x, i, something like that. And then I render it, it will give you another equation on top of it. And as you can see here, the number is automatically reordered. So now it's one, two, and then the one is the formula that's coming beforehand. So now let me show you another trick that I really like. It's called label. I use label very often. So slash label, you'll be able to enter anything you want. For equations, typically I start with the EQ, colon, and then I will physically give a name. I'm not going to call it equation one, two, three, four. I'm going to physically give a name. So for example, I can say sum of x. Maybe that's a name, right? If I hit enter, it's not going to render this label. This label is physically saved as an index, right? As a tag of this equation object on this particular line so that I could call it, I could reference it, somewhere else in the paragraph. So let me give an example, maybe somewhere down here, right? Before I spell out equation number two, maybe I want to reference equation number one, maybe they're related together, right? So I can say something like this, here's my equation based on equation EQ, and then I can say ref, and then I can find EQ sum of X. See, this first hyperlink already pop out that equation. So I type in there. So this allows me to reference another equation that is labeled EQ colon sum of X. 
that I designed before. So now I can hit enter and it will be able to give a hyperlink here says equation one. And this allows me to reference one equation somewhere else on the paper. It does not have to be uh, only before or after, uh, it's anywhere else on the paper. So same thing, let's say I have this second equation here, obviously I'm gonna have to give a label. So slash label, maybe I say EQ, I'm gonna have to give a unique name. So I say MSE mean square error. I hit enter, it will then give me another label. As of this point, you're not gonna see anything on your render PDF because you have not invoked it, right? You have not referenced it. So let me show you. Here's the equation, and I can say reference, EQ, MSE. To do so, we need to add a new premise, something like that. So as you can see here, I say here's equation number two, and this number two actually has a hyperlink that will point you to this second equation here. And then that's how these two things are referenced. So there you go. That's it for today's episode. Just want to show you how to design these formulas. Of course, for other Greek letters, you can go in there, find out. I'm going to drop a link in the bottom of the video to show you that. Also, another quick tool is to type out the letters and Latex will render it for you on the website. For example, here I can say, lambda and then as you can see here lambda or small cap it's the small cap lambda and if you want you can type out the big lambda as well so you can say lambda for example i can add a comma here you can say lambda equals to four something like that and then you render it it will give you the symbol just like that you can of course type in mathematics syntax within the paragraph so for example maybe here i can say something that we use to define machine learning or data science problems. We say, here's uh, data X. If I want to use mathematical symbol within the paragraph, I simply need to put in dollar sign behind and after the mathematical syntax. So here's data X and a part of Y. We want to build a model to learn from X and predict why? Using loss function defined in equation, and I hit reference, I'm going to select the equation that I just defined, which is MSE. And then I render it. Boom, here we go. This is how you type out a paragraph with the reference of the equation with mathematical symbol inside. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.